There's a brand new live football scores app called CrowdScores, taken over the App Store and Google Play Market. So if, like me, you want to keep up to date with footy at all times, click the link down below and get it downloaded. If you are looking to fund your Ultimate Team account with coins, get some Microsoft points or any online code you can imagine, then head on over to MMOGA through the link in the description down below. What's up guys, Curtis here and welcome to a brand new FIFA 16 video. It's been a little while, we haven't done too much FIFA stuff as of late, we've done some more real life stuff, a few different things as of late, but today we're back with a new FIFA 16 video and it's a squad builder today which we haven't had in a little while. Now, as you can see, we are in the office. If you missed a setup video, you, you will know, you won't know if you missed it even, if you saw it, you'll know we're now in the office rather than in the lounge that we used to record in. So we're in the office now, we're all set up, it's all good. But obviously it means there's some work to do, I need to sort out the background, we need to get all that sort of sorted out. I don't even have curtains in here yet, that's how unprepared we are. But, so we need to get up a nice little setup around us here, but that will happen in due course. But nonetheless, let's get straight stuck into the squad builder. We've got a bunch of upgraded players, we've got a load of info forms some really interesting ones so first up we have consigli i really enjoyed using this guy i actually packed him we're gonna go play a game with him in a minute but he was a first owner player and i think his stats are amazing for an 80 in form 85 diving 86 reflex 81 handling and 83 positioning now Really quickly, before we go on to the next one, I do want to say as well, is if you guys could smash the like button, that would be absolutely amazing. We, Like I said, we've been a bit inactive on FIFA, so let's keep smashing that like button. Okay, next up in left back, we have this fella, Wentz. Now, he's probably one of the weaker parts of the team, but... That's probably only his pace. The rest of his game is amazing. He's a super well-rounded left back with 80 dribbling, 80 passing, 78 defending. Really solid, well-rounded player, but he does have a potato of a weak foot. One star, some of the lowest weak foot I've ever seen on this game. Then we have two pretty solid centre-backs. We have Matip, who got uh, upgraded, but he's not going in the squad. We do have two upgraded players, though. Uh, actually, I'm not sure if Tonelli was upgraded. Maybe he was. Maybe he wasn't. I'm not sure. But I know for a fact Murillo definitely was. He's gone up, I think, on his inform from 69 pace to 76 pace. A mega, mega um, pace upgrade there to make his card look completely different. Six foot, good pace, good defending, good physical. He's really solid. And Tonelli is kind of in here just for chemistry, but he's still a really solid player. I think I could replace him with... Chiellini, if Chiellini has an inform, but I'm not 100% sure. So now at right back, I kind of wanted to think outside the box a bit. And we have another incredibly well-rounded fullback. Just like when he's got decent pace, but not incredible. But his stats are just insane. He's got some of the best free kicks on the game, which we will hopefully will get a chance to use him in a minute. But 78 pace is amazing. 76 shot, 87 passing, 77 dribbling, 80 defending, and 80 physical. His lowest stat is 76. Could you imagine him playing in centre mid? Wow, he'd be incredible. Right mid, though, we obviously need to get a strong link to him, and we have Marlos. The uh, the info Marlos, I think he starts off as an attacking mid, perhaps. He's been a FIFA beast for years. He used to be a five-star skill, a striker back in the day. He's going to be our four-star skill, left-footed, uh, right mid, which I think is going to be a lot of fun to try out. Then in centre mid, we have a player who, sadly, I can't see getting another inform ever on FIFA unless the Chinese Super League is added or he comes back to uh, to Europe or a, a league that's uh, in the game. But anyway, he gets the perfect link to Murillo and it's going to be such a shame now that he's moved to China that he's not going to be getting that link anymore because I feel like that's one for years to come would be really, really OP. But anyway, we need to have a left back in this squad and we have this guy. It's, it's Fabian Johnson. He looks incredible. I actually bought him before he had his upgrade. I didn't have a chance to use him. I'm not sure if he's gone up or down in price, but nonetheless, he did get an upgrade recently. Uh, I've actually, I think I made a bit of money on him. I think I maybe made 20k, which would be great because I only paid 21 for him. But he looks incredible. 88 pace, 80 dribbling, great passing. And once again, every stat over 70 is a super defensive um, left mid, so you, he'll help you out defensively. But he's also got great passing, great dribbling, he's really good going forward. Five star weak foot. I can't wait to try and get some of the play down that left hand side. And he's pretty unique being Borussia Mönchengladbach. So I'm pretty happy with that. And then our two central attacking mids, we have Perisic and we have the uh, the Hamsic card. It was a first owner one. It happened during team of the year. So I think he's pretty cheap. I'm just going to double check now. I'd be surprised if he's over like 20k. Um, you could probably pick him up for 20k. I wouldn't be surprised. So he's a super cheap one and Perisic is just a very OP one. Five star week for very solid player. So two great central attacking mids leading up to our big boy up front. Now funnily enough, I actually had a first... Um, own a loan version of this card and then I also got 
a first owner of his, I think it was an 87 in form, and then of course he got upgraded. So I pulled him when he obviously was whatever he was before, 86, 87, and then he got upgraded to 89, and he looks unbelievable. 84 pace, 92 shot, 88 dribbling. Boys, when he gets that team of the season, it's going to be at least a 91, 92, and it's going to be incredible. 90 dribbling, it's going to be at least 93, 94 shot. His pace is going to be over 85, 80 physical. It's going to be out of this world. Now, I'm going to really quickly fill the bench with a few informs and we'll get stuck into a game. I do really want to quickly say as well, if you guys are enjoying these sort of videos, I've done a few lately and they've done incredibly well. Uh, for example, we did the position change one a couple weeks ago and we got 100k. So let me know if you want to see more videos like that in the upcoming weeks and I will be sure to do so. I enjoy putting them together. So if you guys are enjoying it, let me know in the comments down below and smash that like button. But let's go get a game with this full inform team and see if it's actually as good as I think it's going to be. Okay, here we go, boys. We have our first game. I haven't really played much. FIFA lately as well. I've been playing quite a bit of COD, not so much FIFA, so this is going to be interesting. He has a standard sweaty BPL side. He doesn't have any upgrades that I can see. He's got a very OP team. I mean, a lot of pace at the back. Uh, and Bemba and Smalling, very good. Going forward, Martial and Welbeck. Welbs is that guy. Kiyate is a very OP CDM, so he's got a good squad. He could give me some issues. Go on, Higgy. Oh, is it, it's trickled in easy as that. Higuain is going to be a goal machine. Every time we get the ball to him in that box, he is going to ping it in. Also, let me know as well, guys, what you think about like this angle. Usually, we're like up here on another thing. But I, I kind of I like it just kind of eye level. I don't know. I feel like this is good. And like I said as well, I need to get some stuff for in the background. We're going to put the YouTuber plaque up there, a couple other bits. Let me know what you think I should stick in the background. Because there's a good chance that you guys missed it. But basically, this is what the setup is looking like now. There's still some changes to be made. So, uh, like I said, I want some suggestions for things in the background, for things to go in the setup. So, let me know in the comments down below. What should I fill this background up with? I, I don't really know yet, but I want to get something good. I want something decent. I want to score a screamer with Cerner because I know he's got good long shots. Not that good. Right, Marlos. Go on, son. This guy loves flying in with tackles. So, I think a little bit of a sneaky run. Bit of that. Bit of this. Quarren's kept the ball somehow. Absolute scenes from Quarin. The goalie's fallen. Oh, what are we do? We're oh, embarrassing the poor lad. It's not over yet, though. Higgy to Marlos. Oh, I don't know why I tried to pass it again. I wanted the perfect goal there. Right, here we go, Marlos. Easy like a Sunday morning. I'm just going to score this. Oh, how has that not ended up in the back of the net? Serna, yeah, Serna's never going to miss. I don't know how that didn't go in then. I don't know what was going on. Let's have another look at that. It's nice having the fact Higuain can actually batter Kuyate for strength. Oh, how has that not ended up going in? Oh, <laughs> boys. How have we not scored? No, that wasn't for him. He's going to get one on the counter. No way. And it's lagging. Come on, surely not. Oh. So lucky! The deflections on that. We've gone from being unbelievably cut close to scoring two down the other end to him lagging his way through up the. Ah. Oh. It's alright. We're still going to score five. Just be 5 1 instead. No, that wasn't where it was for. Right, Perisic. 1 2. No! It took so long for going to play the pass. Really, Consigli? No way. No, no. No! What has gone on here, boys? Not only has my goalie had a mare by not booting it, what has my left back done? Okay, we have three minutes. We're going all out attack. I'm not letting this guy draw. Someone! Go on, Went. You messed up for their goal. No, he's missed. Or is it a corner? It's come off of one of their players. Come on. Someone do something with this. No, Perisic. Go on, Murillo, the centre-back. Oh, my days. It's so laggy all of a sudden. Marlos, someone shoot. I can't believe he's drawn this game, boys. We were outplaying him, like destroying him with like fancy passes, flicks all over the place. 
We came incredibly close twice. He counter-attacked, scored. And then got just the stupidest goal ever to make it 2-2. I don't know how we only ended up with two goals that game. But that, boys, is the end of this episode. The way that game swung in the last 15 minutes is mind-blowing. It went from everything I did working perfectly and him not being able to play properly to every pass he pressed went to the right man and my players just couldn't do it. It's like that's the way the game is set up, that if what, something's going away from someone, they just change the game to make it... I don't know. I don't get it. It's FIFA. What do we even know? But smash that like button if you enjoyed it. Let me know if you want to see more of these squad sort of things where we play a game with a random squad. Smash that like button if you enjoyed it. Sub if you're new around here. Have a fantastic day and I'll see you all next time. Bye, guys.